Alrighty guys, this is Zero Gaming and today we are going to be casting another Kerrigan Survival Pro match. Now this does have mostly pros as far as you can see here. We have Ryoshima, we have Dandy, we have Sam, we have Smith, I know Smith is a pro. And then we have a couple other guys who I don't know anything about. We have Bill Gates, Slayer Bounty and ZBT. Now let's see what our guys have to do. Now, first of all, yeah, Smith is the prophet. Smith is a very good player and yeah, I'm surprised he's even going for a prophet, but this wall is pretty interesting. Okay, I don't think the Zergs will actually expect them to be here. So we have Clyde and then Slayer Bounty on the enemy team. Clyde being the Kerrigan. Clyde bot is a very good player. I know he's OP with the Dark Templar, but I'm not really sure how good he is with the... Um, with the hunter oh they scanned it really as soon as i say this is a wall they would never expect they like scan look at this smith is even like destroying his own structures so he won't feed okay that's nice we have susu susu is the helios i don't know who susu is i'm assuming these guys who i don't know anything about are actually na players players that are playing on the north american server i don't really play on that server like ever and it's mostly because, as you know, I'm an EU player, so if I go in NA, then I'm gonna have a ton of lag, so I don't really know many of these guys. Now, Bill Gates seems okay. He did farm some gas. I mean, he has only five, but still. He farmed, like, just a bit of gas. Okay, how Susu, he's got 14 gas. Susu's been farming really well. We have Sam as a technician. What is Kerrigan doing? Clyde is gonna go for Sam's outpost in here. Yeah, she could as well be sending uh, Zerglings towards him. I can see, can you see this? These are like two groups of Zerglings going to patrol and clean up stuff. Okay, so the... The Helios' stuff is gonna get destroyed. The Dragoons are gonna fall and now they're gonna get spawned again. I mean, these Dragoons have the tendency to feed, you know? Oh, look at this. We also have just a moron. Very interesting name. I've also never heard of him. But I don't think all of these guys are pros. This is a pre-made. This is not necessarily a pro-only game. It's a mostly pro game. Okay. Sam is doing a great job here. Look at this. Okay. I guess this got found. Yeah. And he's going to use his trainees to salvage the stuff. Okay, the Dark Templar, he's using uh, these Essence Temples. Can he actually build anything else? I cannot see. My interface still does not allow me to see the structures. I'm not sure just yet, just yet why it's like this, but I guess we're gonna have to roll with it. I guess it's because of the replays, because they are pretty old. So probably that's because it looks like this. That's why it looks like this. Now what is Kerrigan doing? They haven't rushed for plus one damage. So they have no upgrades. It's gonna go to the left where most of the builders are. Here we have the Stukov. Here we have the Selendis and then the Nomad. How's Nomad's income? Can I see it? Wait, what? Where's the Nomad? Look at this. Nomad and Stukov have like such similar colors. I can barely distinguish them. Okay, where is the Nomad's income? That's my question. We have ZBT, yeah, he's gonna go for corner income. He's a scientist, am I right? Yeah, look at this. ZBT is gonna go for the corner income. And Prophet is gonna wall him off. What? What is this wall, man? Look at this wall. We have a Zergling going towards his income, but now he's gonna turn back. We have more Zerglings going around here. Okay, okay, and none of them are none of them is gonna see ZBT's income. Now Niagara is gonna go for Selendis' income. Yeah, that is a very late salvage. She did lose a lot. It says go away. Espresso, where is he? He's the Stukov. Okay, okay, they tried to destroy his uh, income there. Where's Kerrigan now? Okay. You can see Niagara. Where is Kerrigan? Okay, she's still around Stukov. She wants to go after Stukov apparently, like really bad. Is he AFKing? No, I guess he's just microing Zerglings. Yeah, that's what he's doing. And the Prophet went for like the force target wall. This is interesting, yeah. I don't think the Zerg will expect this either. 
but they might scan. Is this a patrol? Yes. Because they have a patrol in here, so they know the guys cannot have income in this little choke, they might not scan, okay? They just might not scan. ZBT is gonna get more income, yeah, look at that. He noticed the world is gonna go for a lot more. And he also has income in here. He's got income in like two different spots, which is what you want. They are both walled in. Yeah, the scientist is uh, very OP at this point. So like, I cannot say the same for Bill Gates. I mean, he does have a bit of income, but he's getting discovered like day and night. Salvage, salvage, bro. He did not see those zerglings, but he does have the slow, so I guess, yeah, not everything's gonna get destroyed. Most of these will live. Okay, look at Ryoshima. He's getting 29 bounty per kill, which is nice. He's getting zero all of a sudden, yeah, he's, um, his income got discovered. Where's Kerrigan now? Oh, she's gonna go to the right. Yeah, she was just around Dark Templar's income. That's why he salvaged, probably. We have Smith going around farming. He's got no upgrades at minute 8. And he doesn't really have gas or resources. He is leeching off the scientist, apparently. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. We have poor Bill Gates trying to go for units once again and for income. Yeah, that's kind of sad, to be honest. He's got plus four mineral fields over and over. He's got plus fours and plus twos. You would really want at least plus fours and plus eights at this point, but he did lose his income a lot of times. Okay, look at Susu. What is Susu doing? He's got one gas. How does his income look like? He's got one chrono boosted priest. I don't know about this. Because the chrono boosted one can just die very easily. Did that get scanned? Yeah, it probably did. Okay, I can see another scan here. They keep scanning around. Yeah, and they are patrolling most of the chokes. That's patrol. This one is patrolled. Yeah, everything is patrolled. I guess it's Clyde who's setting up all of these. But Bounty isn't bad either. He's got creep everywhere. But the guys have... Do they have upgrades? Okay, they do have 1-1. One, one. So they did get 1-1 one, one at minute 9-ish, which is great. This will make... It's a lot harder for the survivors to farm. We have ZBT, he salvaged his income, his income got discovered there. He's gonna have to move, he's gonna have to move somewhere else. I mean, not before he's gonna get an outpost, apparently. Okay, nice. We have Bounty going for Stukov stuff. Oh, look at that, they're rallied right towards Stukov. Poor Stukov, man. Yeah, he's gonna get destroyed. And uh, look at this, Bill Gates is preparing to defend. I guess they know there are Zerglings in here. Okay, he sees them. What is he gonna do? They have 1-1. One, one. Oh, these uh, infested will just attack them. Okay. No, they will be able to defend. That is not enough Zerglings, is there? No, even if they have the upgrade advantage, we'll need a lot. We have Kerrigan going for Sam's income once again. He's only got plus ones. This is sad, he has like little to no income. The only one who has some income is ZBT, uh, and he's got a lot too. It hasn't really been uh, attacked. Okay, we have Susu going for outpost everywhere with cannons and gates. He's doing all the right things. Does he have plus one though? Look, let's look. Does he? No, he does not. I mean, these dragoons can still farm, but it will be harder. They will be a lot squishier, and this, yeah, this is kind of like feed, because these guys will die eventually, they won't live forever. So when Nairo is gonna catch them, they're gonna give away like the 7 gas, and then they're gonna go again. The thing is, they are farming for the Helios, but they are giving a lot of gas away. Yeah, the creep is amazing. For a Nairo, this is uh, remarkable, look at this. He's manually spreading it. Let's see, he's number 8, can we check him? Let's look at his scam, what is he doing? He's getting more income now, can we see if he's spreading creep like manually? Okay, he's looking around... No, he does not seem to actually be focused. No, he's not focused on the creep, he's focused on other stuff. Stokov still has 0-0, zero, zero. he's gonna have a hard time dealing with the Zerg. Okay. We have Ryoshima who keeps rebuilding his stuff over and over again. He's getting 40 of one kill, this is great. 
yeah, look at this. I mean, I almost wished he, wo he like, wore this off right here. Okay, yeah, he's gonna take care of those Zerglings. Ryo has a lot of income for a Dark Templar. Kerrigan is on the bottom, still looking for Stukov. Poor moron, man. He doesn't get to do anything. Salvage, salvage. Okay, okay, nice. He did salvage in time. Look at this. He's not even gonna check. Okay, he is gonna send an Overlord towards there to check if he salvaged. We have Smith. How is Smith doing? He's got like 20 gas, not a lot. He hasn't gone for anything like, I don't know, Chrono Rush, nothing too special, just good old worlds. But if he can make it to the very late game, then this will be a piece of cake. Yeah, look at this. Come on, Prophet. I mean, he's not gonna do much, is he? He, he doesn't even have upgrades at this point. He has been leeching off the scientist for ages. How does he not have income or upgrades? I mean, yeah, he actually has the attack upgrade, but I don't think he spent all his minerals on one attack upgrade. He needs to have like a lot more stuff. What upgrades did she make? Let me check. She just has plus one attack and almost no minerals. Okay, yeah, that got scanned. Look at that. Poor Sam, he's just getting hunted over and over again. Look at, look at Smith though, or Ryoshima. He does have a ton of income. Go for that Zergling, no, don't let it uh, destroy the pylons. He's gonna get 68 per kill, that's insane. But he does have 1-1, one, one. he needs 2-2, two, because two, Kerrigan is eventually gonna try and go after him. And he cannot hold against her. Unless he actually has at least some upgrades. They do have one too, look at that. The Zergs do have one too, so one to one units will still be able to farm them fairly easily. Only when they get to two two, the things get hard. When they have two two, then one one marines and one one infested terrans will no longer be able to deal with them. Okay, look at Sam, he's getting focused so hard. And they also have 1-1 one, one for the roaches, so they have 1-1 one, one for pretty much everything. Okay. ZBT is still having tons of income here. Even Selendis built like some mineral field and nexus in here. For some reason, Kerrigan never checked that. Yeah, cheeky cheeky scientist. 234 per 1 kill for the Dark Templar. Okay. We have Niadra going towards him. Yeah, look at that. We have the scientist, I think he's preparing to push now. Okay, Kerrigan did go after the Dark Templar, he did not die, he's still alive. She even missed one structure. What is Ryoshima gonna do now? He has like observers everywhere. Oh look at this, he's going bottom, this is beautiful. He's going wherever the hunters are not located, this is so cool. Okay, no, don't go for the roaches, don't go for them. Okay, he's not gonna kill the roaches, he's gonna, he's gonna wait until he actually has income and then he's gonna... Kill the roaches and he does have 2-2 two, two now, so he is not weak. He's insanely strong, he's got like 5,000 resources and for Dark Templar that's enough to like max out the income plus a couple of upgrades. Okay, come on, get a couple more and then go for the roaches. Come on, dude. What's Kerrigan doing in the meantime? She's scanned for Helios, she's gonna go for Helios. She's going for the Marines. Come on, Dark Templar. Oh, he's even gonna get more. Look at that. He's not stopping. He does not stop. Okay, go get the Ling and I'll go for the roaches. I'm wondering how much is he gonna go? Is he gonna get from like one roach? Is he gonna go for temples now? Oh, the Zerglings, they got like one structure. How much will he get from the roaches? This is so much with 168. Okay, it's not as crazy as 200, but still that's a lot. Meanwhile, Kerrigan's gonna go for Susu. Now there is no way he holds, even though he's got 1-1. One, one. No, he cannot hold, and the Dark Templar is just feeding off these roaches. Oh, look at this. Are they gonna try and rally them? Yeah, he's gonna use the Q. Get him, boy. Okay, nice. He's got 3,000 resources once again. He could actually get, like, I think 3-3, three, three, yeah. Okay, we have Kerrigan trying to break this base. We have the scientist surrounding them. So the scientist is surrounding Kerrigan with Marauders. That's pretty good. And he, he does have tier 2. He's got more upgrades than the Zerg does. But he's gonna smash all of these roaches and Zerglings. They have no chance. Kerrigan need to go back. Get Banings or something. 
Yeah, the scientist is fat. He's got so many plus 16 generators. I mean, she did handle everybody's income except for like scientists. This is so unfortunate. Yeah, the scientist is gonna destroy her. Does he have any more income other than the one from the top? Not really. Okay. Here we're gonna we'll try and go for Stukov maybe. I mean, she should stop using roaches. She needs lurkers or something. This is so much feed. How much does... Okay, the scientist is like 700 gas. That's insane. I mean, Kerrigan is gonna be able to like push this back, but the scientist can just respawn them. He's staying all the way back in the base. He has no worries. This is not the Haka. She cannot drag him. She can just spawn marauders for days. At this point, I think he should spam some ghosts too. Even Niadra is here trying to push. You need to go for the income, boys. You need to stay and defend. And then get your income up. I'm talking to the... To the hunters, to the hunters and the defender. Come on, guys. You cannot keep pushing like this. This won't work. The scientist is getting bigger and bigger. And they're just going for the marauders. Yeah, no. You're not gonna do this. You need a lot more. I guess the psionic storm from Kerrigan can kind of deal damage to them. But that's not enough. He's got now how much? 1,700. It's not that many minerals, but... Yeah, that's still ridiculous. Okay, Niadra's gonna teleport away. Okay, she did take damage. No, Kerrigan, what are you doing? Oh, she tried to go for the scientist. That was nice. Okay, but they are taking damage and spamming roaches and zerglings left and right. Yeah, run away, Kerrigan. It's time to look for their income. We also have the Selendis pushing with Colossi and Striders or Stalkers. How are they even called? Yeah. She's gonna push with like tons of Stalkers and Colossi. Yeah, she does have income. Look at this. This one field, this one like base was so OP. It just won the game for the survivors. Or I'm assuming it won the game. I'm, ass I'm just assuming, okay? Because I'm not sure if they, they won the game already, but it is very likely that they they will actually just destroy them. Yeah, look at the push. These are like tons of Colossi and like Dragoons, and now the scientist has like a thousand Marauders and a thousand gas to spend. Yeah, look at the base. This is insane. Okay. I mean, they are defending. Niadra does do a lot of damage. Yeah, this is from now on Machine Gun Niadra. You cannot walk on creep without getting destroyed. Okay, she also has her own storm, so that's nice. Where is she gonna go? She does not have Banes just yet. She's still using like roaches and zerglings. Come on, Banes or lurkers are a lot better than the roaches. I mean, they do have like 400 HP, but because the Marauders have so much more range, like a thousand Marauders can attack like all of the Roaches, while only like four Roaches can attack the Marauders, and that's a big deal. Okay, now Kerrigan, try getting Lurkers or Brutalisks for the Colossi, but I guess they don't really have income. Oh, look at that, he did get the Spire, so he will be able to go for some Corruptors whenever she wants to. She is level 11. So she, if she has to one view on anybody, she will at least be able to. Yeah, she is gonna spawn the Corruptors now. The guys are going for the base. Get Sniper. Yeah, you need Sniper for the Corruptors. Okay. Look at this. The Nomad is defending with the defensive drones. He's got them at what level? They're level 3. So they do soak up 2500 damage. I mean, the ranged units have no effect over those, do they? No, they don't. Okay, the Marauders are gonna go after Kerrigan. No, Kerrigan, what are you doing? She's too low. She did not go for much income. She needs a lot more. She needs Somph, she needs Bane, she needs Lurkers, but she's not gonna go for them. Yeah, I guess she does not have time. Ryo is also with them, together with Sam and then the Prophet and then Selendis and the Scientist and even the Helios. The, the Helios is not that strong. Helios is kind of weak now. And also this one too, Nomad, so that's the thing. Okay, I mean, he's gonna send the moon away. Oh, he's gonna send that weird corruptor. But that's not gonna do much, really. We have the Dark Templar. Yeah, he's got like a thousand HP now. The Dark Templar is fed, everybody's good. 
and mostly because the scientist and especially this spot did not get destroyed. This is interesting, like one single unscouted spot will just end the Zerg. This is so weird and unfair at the same time. Yeah, look at this. Come on, Kerrigan, snare, snare. Does she not have like the energy upgrade? She does have it. She's, she has like 200 max energy, which is a lot. Yeah, the Dark Temper is just going to destroy all of these. He's so fast. Is he maxed out? I'm pretty sure he's maxed out. Yeah, look at this. Can I select him? He's got now 1,500. Okay, now he's maxed out. Look at this. He even has the Ancient Library. He's going to go for the move speed buff is gonna go for everything it's gonna get the brutas look at this now the damage output of the dark temper is just insane yeah now it's 0.2 now it's about 2000 dps already for the dark templar this will be a big problem for the zerg like a huge problem this spot hasn't been scouted to this day 550 gas lol i mean yeah but look at the scientist how much does the scientist have 2000 gas the scientist is a real hero here okay they are finally gonna go for songs but this is a bit late yeah mini 29 29 songs are not the best mm, that's not the thing you want to go for she cannot drag anybody she's not a hacker she does have songs oh dark templar he got destroyed by the songs the songs destroyed them Okay, but she's still at like how much? 2000 HP? Thought I had her, yeah. He tried to 1v1 her. He tried to 1v1 her and then he just died. That was intense though, yeah. She almost got destroyed. She's at 2000 HP. Like 4 more shots from the Selendis or something and then she's gonna go down. But now if they have songs, they might be able to win this might keyword here because I'm not sure if they will I mean yeah they are pushing from so many angles the Terrans that is and even the guys with the Banings yeah the ghosts are gonna try to like go for our no Kerrigan don't like four shots from those Marauders will take down 25% of her HP okay now they do have songs but they are lacking the income Kerrigan doesn't really have any is she gonna go down no she, she was too close to the Marauders is gonna take damage 1300 HP, not a lot of HP, okay, she's gonna go on in under like 1000 a second, yeah these songs are late, and now the Selenius even has, like how many is this, Colossi, she's got like 9 Colossi, they can only break this now with a 1000 songs, this is the real way to do it, but can they get a 1000 songs? They even have the mage at level 11, look at that, the scientist is buff. Go ghost, is she gonna go down? She's at how much? How much? Oh, she died, okay. A good game, well played. That one spot won the game for the survivors.